Good afternoon. This is Team BASF, and that is Business Awareness Social Framework. And we, are work we worked on developing a um, communication plan for CISDA. Oh, okay. It takes two CIOs to play a U2. <laughs> you might be selfie-centered. Smile me. Or maybe a pinhead. I am here. You could be a one-upper. Or a one-downer instead. Why? Your social personality, your social personality, it's how you look online. Just think a bit before you post it. It could be there a long, long time. You might be a play-by-player. -play I sneezed again. You might like memes or everything. Like, like, like. Maybe your hashtag hyper. Hashtag, hashtag. Don't know what this means. Noob. It's your social personality. Your social personality. It's how you look online. Just think a bit before you post it. It could be there a long, long time. You could be soapboxing champion. Or like collecting clicks. Oh, me. Or maybe just a lurker I see you. Or all about kid pics. So cute. So what's your personality? Your social personality? How do you look online? Just think a bit before you post it. It could be there a long, long time. And these are the team members of BASF, and they'll introduce themselves to you as they go through. So I'm Tammy Weigel. I am from the County of Santa Cruz. And so I'm going to kind of go over the current situation. So the challenge here is how do we make this to the one conversation in a sea of conversations we hear each day, the one that everybody pays attention to? So how do we communicate? If your audience is using cell phones to communicate, and this is what you're using, your message is never going to get across. So what is the message we really want to promote out there? It's like, how do we, what do we want people to think about CISDA? What is the story that we want to tell people? Good afternoon. I'm Dave Lindsay from the County of San Diego. So what did our team set out to do? So we first wanted to analyze the existing communication strategies of CISTA, how we communicate to all of you, the CISTA members. We wanted to assess that. How is it being perceived? How, is it, how, how well is it going? And then we wanted to identify opportunities to enhance it and then also provide specific recommendations to the CISTA board on how we can actually enhance the communication to our members. So, uh, like a, every good research project, we started with the survey. Um, and uh, thank you all uh, for taking that survey. We had 30 respondents to the, the CISDA, from the CISDA members, and that's the breakdown um, by what part of the organization you were in. And in general, and the team member is going to go over specific uh, questions, but two things in general came out of the survey. One is that all of you like to receive email about or about emails about CISDA. So, uh, which is ironic because I think we all don't like email, right, in general, but we do like to get email um, <clears throat> about information about CISDA, and then we prefer to use email in the future. And then finally, which is good news, is that you're all willing to promote CISDA in any way in this new um, communication strategy that we'll talk about in a second. Hi, I'm Nimi Holman. I'm with the County of Santa Barbara Sheriff's Office. So as we started discussing this as a group, we wondered what do our survey participants really already know? Let's start with what we already have and what we know. So we asked some specific questions and these are the results to those questions. 79% of us knew that uh, SISTA facilitates sharing of new computer applications and products. 
93.1% were aware that CISA facilitated staff development and training. 31% knew about the consulting services for system members, counties, and supporting organizations. 79.3 were aware of the systems integration efforts between the California counties and state and federal agencies. 100% of the people surveyed knew that SISTA has two annual conferences. 93.1% were aware of the quarterly work groups that SISTA hosts, the, including the rural and small counties, the information security forum, the criminal justice, and the property tax forums. And here's a good one. Zero percent of the people surveyed knew nothing. So everyone knew a little bit about what SISTA can offer. So within our small survey group, that's fantastic numbers, but there are a lot of people outside of that in the IT county profession that aren't even aware of SISTA and what great benefits they can provide. So how do we share? How do we, how do we share all this great news to the people who don't know? So again, we looked internally. What mechanisms do we have that we can already just deploy, send them out there, get it going, get, get the talk going. So a little over 50% of our survey takers have a department public relations office. And 72% of those said that they would be willing to promote SISTA and the county IT departments using that outlet. But that's still just such a small portion of the people we want to reach. So at that point, we realized we really need to dig a little deeper. Hi, I'm Stacy Lake, and I'm from the county of Santa Cruz. And we asked um, people, um, how do you receive information about CISDA? And 90% said email, 20% said management, and 20% said other. That's um, coworkers and vendors, stuff like that. Um, and how would you prefer to receive information from CISDA? 90% said email, 6% um, said a website, and 3% said social media. Thank you. Hello, I'm Martin Weekly from the County of Santa Clara. I'm going to discuss the conclusions in the following slide. The conclusions is that CISDA currently limits its uh, social media to a collaborative website and a mobile app that is utilized during the, these conferences. I have found the mobile app to be very useful. I have put my schedule in there, put all the meals in. I'm not going to miss a meal. Secondly, the system membership has remained rather flat. The conferences are not widely attended. And along those lines, the, CISDA, the efforts to promote CISDA within the organization and beyond has fallen flat and short. And the the fourth thing is the path to the membership is not advertised very well. It is basically up to the counties to do the promoting or increasing the system membership by sending people to whatever path they have to obtain system membership. Our guiding strategies that we worked with, reaching more county staff, increasing confidence, raising the understanding and developing direct and improved communications. These strategies were not a pillar for us to do our work. They're more like an umbrella that we kept within and under. And based on that, I'm going to be passing on to my colleague, who will then start to wrap this thing up. Hello, I'm Bobby Garcia. I'm with the County of Santa Clara. And I've been told that we're approaching time. So we'll just go on to the next uh, slide, which was our objectives. In a nutshell, our objectives were provide, uh, to provide recommendations to CISDA to increase their visibility and membership and doing so in a staged approach. And ultimately, we wanted to gather success stories that we could in turn use to promote not only CISDA but local counties. And at the end of the day, that's what everyone wants is positive press. Isn't that right, Dan? Yes. So, good. And uh, I will pass along to the conclusion here.
I was going to do the Johnny Cash, but I'm not Johnny Cash. Jorge Fernandez County. So, time, time wise, we're done. Okay, so the um, the final final recommendations were to um, create and maintain a YouTube account, uh, build a solid library of videos, which would enhance, like Bobby said, like Bobby said, would enhance uh, CISA's message of delivering values to county regarding IT. Uh, obviously, this um, YouTube account would be managed by um, by the CISA board. Uh, in addition to um, having the YouTube account, uh, this would uh, allow other system members, you know, to reach out to the broader audience. Additionally, we c we could link and or obtain other videos related to CISDA mission, county governance, and other yeah other caretakers would be government agencies, government vendors, consultants. Consulting groups such as Gartner, B, 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 G, sorry, a little, little nervous, BCG. <laughs> so, anyways, that's um, pretty much concludes our presentation. So, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, reactions, observations, are all welcome. You guys, come on. All right. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.